Hello everyone. Let's see time constant for different zeta values. Just compare. For different different zeta values, how the time constant is varied. So for that purpose, first, first, first we have, so before that just write the, what is time constant formula? Time constant is minus 1 by real part or real part of dominant pole. Dominant pole. Dominant pole means the pole which is nearer to the negative real axis is the dominant pole. Yes. So first look at for we have different different values is there. First zeta equals 0. So we have two poles those are plus r minus j omega n. First pole is j, second pole is minus omega n. Here there is no real part that's why minus 1 by 0. Infinite there is no time constant. Time constant means time taken to reach the time taken to reach the steady state. So we will discuss about time constant later. Second point for 0 less than zeta less than 1 we have two poles the poles are minus zeta omega n plus or minus j omega n under root 1 minus zeta square. Here tau equal minus 1 by minus zeta omega n. So we will have zeta omega n. And the third case is so we have two poles critically damped that means zeta is equal to 1 we have two poles the poles are one pole is minus omega n another pole is also minus omega n further condition the torque equal minus 1 by minus omega n so we have the time constant that is 1 by omega n so we have the fourth case that fourth case is for zeta is greater than 1. In this condition, it will generate two poles. Those are minus zeta omega n plus or minus omega n zeta square minus 1. Yes. So, we will find out the time constant. That is, the time constant is, directly we can write, I can write, 1 by zeta omega n uh, zeta square minus 1 into omega n square right why we are taking only one here we should take the dominant pole so if you observe the time constant so big value to the low value so which is the big value here this is the big value omega after that which is the big value here so this is the big value positive value and which is the big value this one is the big value sorry this is the 1 by zeta omega n and next this is the big value these are the values bigger values so just write here the time constant is look like first infinite so directly we can write so under damper system sorry undamped system has bigger time constant compare with over damper system and next it is has under damped system and next critically damped system critically damper system this is the way of the time constants so this is very very important thing this is the important thing actually undamped system time constant is high compare with the over damper system compare with the under damper system and critically damper system okay 
so this is the important of the thing the, what is the time constant actually time constant is the time taken to reach 63.7 percent of final value so this is generally a time constant we will discuss about this time term, time constant deeply in the coming topics right next and this is for the time constant so we are you should take better to write here the time constant so this is for frequency we write here but better to write time constant here no problem at all just keep the time constant here and next we will look into the frequency of oscillations so better to write in place of time constant here frequency of oscillations frequency of oscillations how it varies for different zeta values generally so to, to understand the frequency of oscillations simply when zeta is moving from 0 to 1 0 to 1 simply poles will closer to the negative rear axis poles will closer to the negative real axis that means it will go to the negative real axis yes it will move like this and what happened the natural frequency is going to decrease natural frequency should be decreases so how it's generally for the first case for zeta equal 0 the it is omega n and second case for 0 less than zeta less than 1 that means under damper system omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square for third case zeta equal 1 case that means critically damped case it is 0 and the fourth case zeta is greater than 1 that is also 0 that means what is this meaning frequency of oscillations is constant that means the waveform is like this what about here frequency of oscillations means oscillation these called the oscillations it has number of cycles per second constant but these frequency of oscillations will decreases how it will be decreases that's why this low value but for critically damped as well as over damped system there is no oscillations generally for the two cases directly it will go there is no oscillation there is in this part directly it will reach this part that's why it has this type of frequency of oscillations it consisting of this type of frequency of oscillations okay so only frequency of oscillation consisting of the only for undamped system as well as under damper system undamped as well as under damper systems the remaining these critically damped over damped system doesn't have any frequency oscillations because it doesn't have any positive and negative cycles okay so by observing this time constant and time constant as well as frequency of oscillations we can give some conclusions we should give some conclusions those conclusions are very much useful so the conclusions here that is when zeta is moving from 0 to 1 generally zeta is moving from 0 to 1 so we have some advantages the we, we should write first those advantages first advantage is when zeta is moving from 0 to 1 poles will moving from poles will move from 
imaginary axis to negative real axis. That means it better to get the stable stable system. Let's try to become the stable system. Second, time constant will be decreased. Time constant should be decreased. Tau will be decreased. This is the another important term. Frequency of oscillations will also be decreases. Yeah, omega n is also omega n is also decreases that means the oscillations also decreases and we have new terms those are delay time rise time and peak time will increased these times will be increased and we have the most important thing is relative stability increases relative stability uh, will increase stability means system become more stable that means it has very advantages relative stability means the system is become generally at zero zeta equal zero what is the system it is a marginally stable system marginally stable system generally when it when it try to become one try to become one whenever it reach to one it will become critically stable system critically stable system so that means it become the sta marginally stable to it become stable system so that's why some conditions will be applied here understand yeah so in order to understand the second order systems generally we have we need to apply the zeta value must be 0 to 1 so by observing the all these observations if you observe the if you apply the if you understand the system if you understand the system compare with the all the systems zero less than zeta less than system that means the under damped system under damped system is applicable is good good system is applicable system compare with this all zetas it will be very good advantages it has the very good advantages and it is very useful system okay so compare these are the advantages of the system okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you